It's about 7.30 in the morning. It is a beautiful day. I hear storms are on the way, so I'm glad we're getting out. Let's go get some trout. Oh, that was a good run. I know. <laughs> <laughs> On the little red lure galaxy series paddle tail. That's right. Y'all see it. Look, he's naked spot on this side. Where you got one you barely moving. One pretty spot. Look at that tail. It's got some blue in it. Yeah, I was barely dragging it. Gorgeous. When I'm not sure that this little guy is 18, but let's see. No, not quite. 17. All right. Hooked up. All right, I do. I'm shaking. I wasn't shaking on I wasn't shaking on that last one, but this is a nice fish. Let's see. Come on. shaking. Another puppy. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful net job. Yes. Woo! Yes, mama. All right, get your line out there. You got to catch one of these. This might be a keeper, y'all. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so red. I'll oh, that's you gorgeous. Y'all know what this means. Two to zero. <laughs> that's nice. Look at that on the little red lure galaxy series. I got to get some more of these made so y'all can slay some fish like this too. Dang, look at the color on this thing. It's gorgeous. Run the water well. It's so pretty. Woo -wee. Did you see that? Alright guys, I'm gonna measure this one. Pray he's 18 because I haven't had any I haven't had a keeper puppy drum. Yes, he's a he's 18. Alright! This one's 18, so we're gonna put him in the live well, have some fresh puppy drum for dinner. Yeah, following us but in my experience when you get some cloud cover the fishing really turns on so hoping that I get lucky here get my mom on a big trout or a big drum
are right under this cloud. <laughs> I would jump out and run over to the island. Yeah. What about the boat? <laughs> Can't abandon ship. But it could buy me a boat, boat. It could buy me a truck to pull it. So guys, that was really weird. Um, I just caught a little flounder, but my GoPro wouldn't turn on, so you guys are just going to have to take my word for it. The wind's not blowing right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is probably my favorite fish to catch inshore in the sound. It tastes amazing, so I can't wait to cook this up for you guys later. Stay tuned. I'm gonna flay this real quick. I do scale these because, as you can see, these scales are a lot bigger. Ah, got my handy dandy knife again. I'm also gonna try to build a little uh, fish cleaning table outside, out back, because in here, when I scale, kind of makes a bit of a mess. But this is just like my washroom, workroom situation, so. That'll be coming soon. I'll make a video on that when I finally get the supplies together. Alright guys, we had such an amazing day of fishing today. I got all showered and cleaned up and now I am ready to cook my harvest, that beautiful puppy drum. So I will see you guys in the kitchen shortly. I'm probably going to do something pretty simple um, and just, you know, just basic but with a little Heidi flair to it and some fresh ingredients from the garden. So see you there. Okay guys, I've got some vegetable oil heating up in my cast iron skillet. <laughs> you can see me in the reflection. As you guys know, and I don't really plan out my recipes, I just kind of wing it, but the base of the fish, I'm going to be frying it, um, battering it and frying it in House of Autry seafood seasoning with this amazing seasoning right here. This is Redfish Magic. It's kind of like a blackened seasoning. And then I'm gonna throw it in the oil, give it a nice, crisp, um, fluffy crust, and I'm gonna top it with some, like a, I guess what I would call this is like a vegetable relish um, using ingredients from my garden. Then I've got some fresh chopped tomatoes from my garden, and if you guys remember my last video, these peppers right here are those hot banana peppers. Some of you were saying they were Hungarian wax peppers. I don't believe so, maybe though, but they are spicy. I love them. This is a piece of that spicy pepper that I tried in my last video where I was a complete wimp and like had to spit it out because it was so, so hot. So let's see if I can handle it this time. Some of them are, are spicier than others. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's 
See, this one's not as spicy. It's got more of like an after kick versus the other one that was like, as soon as it hit my tongue, it was like inferno. And I've also got some white onion chopped. I did not get that out of my garden. And I've also got some cilantro, some lemon and lime. And here I've got one egg and my House of Autry seafood seasoning. I'm gonna toss the fish in there. But first I'm going to mix some of this Paul Prudhomme. <laughs> Black and redfish magic seasoning. Here is the piece of the puppy drum that I filleted earlier today. I cut each fillet, so I had two fillets from each side of the fish, and I cut them in half, just like this, and took the skin off. So they will fit more evenly into my pan when I'm frying them. It will be about four servings. So this is a trick I like to use when I am I guess you would call this deep frying fish. Um, I will go ahead and put my fillets. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to season our House of Autry seafood seasoning with this Redfish Magic like I've been talking about. I love the seasoning. I'm definitely not sponsored by them. I would love to be, but no, I just, I have loved this stuff for years and I... I know it's called Redfish Magic, but it really does taste good on just about any seafood. That's probably good. You guys can see it's got that nice, almost, almost like a color of Old Bay. Give that a nice toss. I like to go ahead and put my fillets into the dry mixture first. When they come out, they should look something like this, so that they've got just like a nice dusting of powder on the outside. And then, I let, this is my egg mixture. I like to give them a nice dip into the egg, like that. And then they go back into the dry mixture so that they get kind of like a double layer of crunch. <laughs> With my hand into the dry mixture, that way it really sticks and it's not moving them around too much. And I will sometimes drop a pinch of the powder into the oil and make sure it's hot enough and it's looking like it's perfect. All right, so first one going in. Just like that. Okay, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, so I wasn't as fast with flipping them as I should have been because I'm videoing, but oh yeah, it's a little burned. You definitely don't want to let them cook that quickly. That one looks perfect. That one might need a little bit more. That one's going to be extra crispy. <laughs> okay, I had to take a little bite. I couldn't help it. <laughs> look how pretty and yummy those look. Oh my gosh. Crispy. Yes. Okay guys, I usually don't cook um, my fish like that, at least not like deep fry them, because um, number one, I guess it's not as healthy, and number two, um, you know, I just, I don't know, I just don't usually do that. Um, but anyway, I've obviously got some vegetables from my garden, so I feel like this is a healthier twist. So, I've got my bowl right here, and my tomatoes, my hot pepper, and my onions. And I'm just going to slide them into the said bowl. And then I'm just going to mix it around. I could eat this just like this, like a salsa. I'm going to add about a whole lime. So one whole lime. This is brown sugar. 
I think the only thing that I would add next would maybe be a little bit more, um, maybe a little bit of red wine vinegar because I don't know about you guys, but um, I've had in restaurants before like fish and chips and they serve it with malt vinegar and it's really, really good. So um, I know red wine vinegar isn't malt vinegar, but it's still that vinegary, tangy, just kind of complements a nice piece of fried fish very nicely. I have some um, fresh cilantro as well I'm going to add into this. All right. So I've added my cilantro as well. Just gonna give that a nice little stir. So and that looks absolutely stunning. This looks super yummy. And I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon right on top of this fish. I waited till the end to do this part because or I didn't want it to get soggy. Alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna plate this. So I've got my fish. I'm gonna put some of this beautiful garden mixture right on top. Oh, it looks so pretty. Ah, uh, yum. <laughs> I happened to go bait up my crab pot and I left it out for just a couple hours and I ended up getting three nice blue jimmies. <laughs> my mom went ahead and steamed these up earlier, so we've got some fresh blue crab to go with this as well. Mm. I'll do a little taste test and then my mom and I are gonna go and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful harvest once again. Diva, could you be any louder, girlfriend? Now that I don't have to be by the stove anymore, I can put you guys by the light and you can see this beautiful fish. Ah! If you guys want to try something that's a little bit unhealthy, um, you know, the, the deep fry, but then hold off on your, your carbs, do something fresh with some vegetables on the side or on top, and you have a beautiful, beautiful pear. I love this, this dish. Mmm. Puppy drum. So good. Mmm. I would love to share a plate with you, but you guys will just have to catch and make this yourselves. Definitely tag me um, either here or on Instagram if you ever do recreate any of my recipes. I would love to see. Here's to another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and fishing with me, cooking with me. I have so much fun on this channel and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting um, you know, this path that I'm on, this adventure. And I just love sharing my life with you guys and my recipes too. And my fishing secrets. So make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.